Good morning. I hope all of you joining us today are safe and healthy. But if any of you are not, we truly wish you the best. My name is John Echemendi, and I'm one of the co-directors of Stanford's Institute for Human-Centered AI, or HAI as we call it. I'm here with my co-director, Feifei Li, and we're pleased to welcome you virtually to Stanford University and to HAI's Spring Conference on COVID-19 and AI. The subject of our Spring Conference was originally going to be the intersection of neuroscience and AI, but with the onset of the pandemic, we were faced with a decision. We could either postpone the conference until fall or see if we could convert it to an online format. In the end, we decided to delay the original conference, but to see if we could provide a more urgent public service, a conference focused on the many ways that AI can be used to better understand and address the multiple threats posed by COVID-19. Given we had only weeks to plan, it's a tribute to the public spirit of the research community that we could assemble the remarkable expertise represented on the agenda today. I'll let our other hosts describe the topics and format that we have planned for the day and the mechanics of the individual sessions. Ironically, the fact that we were forced to make this a virtual conference opened it up to many participants who would not otherwise have been able to join us. While our original conference was sold out at less than 800 attendees, over 10,000 signed up to join us today. And since the attendance is not limited, we expect many more to drop in. We're delighted to welcome you all. Feifei, would you like to add anything? Thank you, John. It goes without saying that I wish we were gathering under very different circumstances. In just a matter of weeks, the world around all of us has changed. Personally, when I wake up every morning now, my first thought goes to my elderly parents in their mid-70s, living in one of the hot zones of California with chronic health conditions. As the coronavirus rampages around the world, changing societies in unprecedented ways and claiming lives as we speak, I am sure all of you are in one way or the other concerned about your loved ones and your community. Many of us are sharing a sense of vulnerability physically, socially, or economically. Yet as a scientist, it is also reigniting the sense of urgency and meaning to the work we do. In these trying times, I am especially inspired by the eagerness and diligence of scientists, clinicians, mathematicians, engineers, and social scientists around the world who are coming together to combat this pandemic. A crisis like the COVID-19 outbreak presents challenges that touch many areas of life and sp span many fields of expertise. They don't lend themselves to easy solutions or quick fixes, but however challenging or daunting, the journey towards solutions must begin. So what role can AI play? AI, machine learning, and data science are a set of related technologies that is really good at finding patterns. In the last two months, much work around the world by researchers have been about finding patterns. In the virus biology and genome, in the infectivity and the spread of the virus, in discovering drugs to treat the virus, in the public and personal responses to the virus, and much more. So we wanted to bring together researchers in these areas to help illustrate the ways in which human-centered AI can help in complex, rapidly evolving situations. Almost exactly a year ago, Stanford HAI was founded on the idea that AI can serve humanity's best interests when it's guided by a diverse, inclusive range of expertise and perspectives. Today, we're putting that ideal to the test. It is part of our mission of ensuring that AI is always part of the solution, not part of the problem. With that, I'd like to introduce our moderators for the day, our good friends, and Associate Directors of Stanford HAI, Professors Russ Altman and Rob Reich. Thank you, Feifei and John, uh, for your welcoming remarks. I'm Russ Altman. You'll hear from Rob in a moment. 
HAI, as you just heard, is really pleased to bring this conference. I'll remind you of a few things. We decided to do this on March 3rd, so this is very much a best effort. Please bear with us as our technical and logistical challenges uh, in moving to the online format become clear. The speakers we're very grateful for, in general, these are the most critical, most busy folks right now, and so we're so grateful that they joined us. Now, I'd like to say that although AR is our clear focus, we were not strict in applying this lens and all the work that we invited. Sometimes we just included really interesting talks that were adjacent to or related to AI. Now, human-centered uh, AI mandated a broad look at how we can help in this pandemic. So you're gonna see uh, four sessions today. The first one is on framing and landscaping. What are the challenges that are really facing us with this pandemic? The second one is the social and cultural implications of, of this work and how AI can help. Of the social and cultural implica implications of the pandemic. The third session is the epidemiological and other methods for tracking the disease. We've all seen maps. Where do those maps come from? How can AI inform them? And finally, there's a, gonna be a session on the treatments, vaccines, and healthcare challenges for COVID-19 patients. Our goal, of course, is to provide a balanced and multiple perspectives to best illuminate the challenges and the opportunities facing the scholarly community as we try to help in this battle against the pandemic. Now, I wanna take a moment for thank yous. Very soon now, or a minute ago, you will see a slide or have seen a slide of our team who worked tireless, tire, tirelessly for the last three weeks. I wanna especially thank Professor Michelle Ilam right at the middle at the top there, who is our co-organizer with Rob and I. I wanna thank the team who put this all together I wanna thank the Stanford video folks who are helping deliver it. Of course, we wanna thank the speakers uh, in advance of their comments. And we wanna thank you, the audience. We are pleased to see a global audience. And in our initial signups, we saw participants around the world, including large groups from Canada, India, China, the UK, and many others. So as you heard, and as you've surmised, our format today is entirely virtual. Every speaker is in a different location, and this will pose some technical challenges. Please bear with us if there are technical glitches during our time together. I apologize if there are funny behaviors of Zoom backgrounds. Uh, we're doing our best there. You may hear funny sounds in the background. Sorry about that. You will hear voices with time checks. The only way we can tell our speakers that they have a minute left is to say one minute left. So you will hear that. Uh, and we, I want to apologize to our speakers because uh, we may have to cut them off if they're going long. Uh, we understand their enthusiasm, but we have to keep to the schedule. If the signal goes down for this, for this meeting, please go to hai.stanford.edu, where you came this morning, uh, for alternative ways to view or hear the conference. Now, just the two more things. We invite you to ask questions during the broadcast please go to the COVID-19 conference page, the HAI site on the website, and you will see an ask questions link. We will try to get to as many of the questions as we can. Rob and I have a small army of colleagues passing the questions to us. And finally, we are pleased to offer continuing medical education for today's conference. If you know what CME is and you want some, uh, please go to the COVID-19 conference page on our website and click the CME link. As I said, our a day is divided into four sections and our goal is breadth. We'll take brief breaks between the sessions and try our best to stay on schedule. You will hear some voices for timing. I'd like to transition now to our first section of the day on landscape and framing and therefore pass it to my colleague and friend, Rob Reich, professor of political science at Stanford. Take it away, Rob. Thanks a lot, Russ. Uh, I'm going to serve as the co-host for this first session on framing and landscape. Um, let's get right into it in a minute, but I just wanted to add one additional note to the entire conference today. Um, as Russ said, we're entirely virtual, each of us in a different location, stitching this together through the wizardry of modern technology. Um, one thing that I think is interesting to note for the entire day is that we're members of Stanford University. Um, it's a global conference. 
Universities um, often work on very long time horizons. Um, we measure the time in semesters or academic years. Research takes a long time to um, um, uh, grow and then mature. And in the face of an emergency like the coronavirus, universities um, have mobilized to act quickly. Um, as Russ said, we put this conference together in the space of less than 30 days. Um, universities were amongst the first places to act and to shut down um, the campus locations um, before uh, states and cities did. And um, this conference is just one example of the many different things that universities across the world are doing in order to respond to the crisis.